Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. This video I'm going to be planning for the week of May 30th through June 5th in the dashboard planner that I use for my social media. Um, and the theme I'm going with comes to us from the hashtag MambyHPFB group. That's the Canadian Happy Planners group. And their um, theme for this week, I know it's really hard to see, is wine and cheese. And I never pass up an opportunity to do a wine and cheese spread. So let's do it. Um, and the other thing I never pass up is an opportunity to use the Planners Anonymous um, Vineyard Kit, which is a couple years old now, but I um, I do have it. It's after I started, I subscribed. So I have made covers with some of the um, papers and I have this chunk left. Obviously I made, it looks like I made a cover out of this. And I thought um, that one time relatively recently where I integrated, I think it was a book lover spread where I put the habit trackers right in the the scene. I thought I could fit three habit trackers right here on the label of this bottle and how cute would that be? So I got to use this sheet of paper. It's kind of an awkward size though. So what I thought I would do is I have the washi tapes here and since it's wine and cheese, um, this kit is just perfect. So this washi tape has a bunch of different cheeses with the names. So if I put this one so this is a piece of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper turned so that the top, the length is, or the top, the height is eight and a half, which is too short for a classic size happy planner page. I played briefly with the idea of turning it sideways, but the scene doesn't quite look right unless it's vertical like this. So if I use the skinny washi tape at the bottom, well, the skinny washi tape and the medium washi tape, if I use them both, um, the sheet of paper is big enough. So I think what I want to do is go all the way across both pages with both washies. I'm going to put the white one at the bottom so it kind of feels like a little bit of a weekend banner down here. And then I'm going to put the, the one with the scene across the top. And then what I'm going to do is put this sheet of paper right in between so I can put my three habit trackers right here. But I don't like having this abrupt edge. So what we're going to do is a messy rip. And then instead of having my two list boxes here and here, I'm going to rip off enough of the scene that I can put my two list boxes here and here, um, or just kind of here and here, wherever, but over on this side. So let's, for, let's get all of that stuff knocked out. I pulled, I pulled some stickers from the kits. I have some washi dots pulled. I have, of course, my um, action word stickers. And I have a couple different options from Mojo Jojo plans for some boxes. But I want to get my color scheme established by putting these things on the, on the page first. And then we also have the widest washi tape. But these are kind of like individual stamps. So I thought I could break up the edge of that paper even further if I needed to by putting some of that on there. So first things first, let me run this washi tape. Um, across the bottom and the top of both pages. So um, don't pull your washi tape super tight. It stretches. You can't tell. It's almost imperceptible, but it does stretch. And then when it releases, when you cut the ends, that's what causes the page to curl. So I love cheese. Since my husband and I are, are keto, we don't eat carbs. We joke that cheese is a food group in our house. We both love cheese. So... For me, any goat cheese, fresh goat cheese, aged goat cheese, flavored goat cheese, Manchego, Humboldt Fog, I love all goat cheeses. For my husband, he loves cheddar. Sharp, the sharper, the better, and if it's got those little crystals in it from age, that's the best. Which I, I don't mind cheddar either, but goat cheese is my favorite. Now rose gold is the foil that's on this kit, so the first thing I want to do is put a little uneven rip on the start of this one here. I don't really feel like it has a right side up or an upside down, so I'm just going to start it. Alright, so far so good. Helping me establish my color scheme. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put this right in between. That becomes a little bit um, 
discordant, but at least I know for sure I want to go ahead and rip a, a long, let's see, if I put that right at the edge and punch it, then the center of my page for my boxes is clear back here. So I'm just going to start here and start ripping. And actually, I think I want to rip up. So see how I started ripping up and the white edge is on this side? I want the white edge to be on that side so it feels like it tapers onto this part of the page a little bit better. So I'm going to start down here where it's easier and rip this piece, this side up. So it leaves my white edge over here. There, see how my white edge is there? Okay, so if I put this right here, pretty good, so far so good. I just have to decide if I like this or do I wanna rip it some more. I can't rip too much or I won't cover that up. So I can put the washi tape over the scene that might that'll work better since this is a smaller scene and this is a bigger scene I think it's better to cover up the bigger part rather than the smaller part so first thing I'm gonna do let's peel this washi tape the bottom edge of this washi tape while I still can let's peel this up I'm just gonna peel this up and set it off camera for a minute okay we're going to go ahead and go all the way around this with some tape runner so I just came right down to this washi. Now we'll stick this washi back on. All right, I still might end up doing something to break this edge up a little bit because that's the only thing I don't like so far. So let's go ahead and punch it real quick. Okay, so far so good. So now that I've got my color scheme partially established, I want to go ahead and use um, the post-it notes, here we go, the post-it notes that are part of the kit. Those, they're two different sizes, unfortunately, and there's only six of those. So I'm one short. I can either borrow one from another kit that has a similar color scheme, or I can figure something else out. And what I thought I would do is use a couple of these, because I can write my stats on those. They're like little wooden winery signs. So there's one, two, three. So if I use... If I go like every other with those winery signs, like one, two, three, and the rest post-it notes, that'll be perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll also, I'll pull my, I got my super pointy tweezers. And these are the bullet points I pulled um, because I felt like they did a good job fitting in with this color scheme. So what I'm gonna do is um, use my super pointy tweezers. These are for artificial eyelash extensions and put um, bullet points, five or six bullet points on each day. I do have a link to these um, tweezers, uh, an Amazon link in the description box. Uh, these, like I said, are for artificial eyelash extensions. So it is an affiliate link, so I get a few pennies of what would have gone um, to Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but I get a few pennies of that. Uh, kind of like a finder's fee for sending you to the website. So I also have a link in the description box for 10% off your first month's subscription to Planners Anonymous. Um, you need to subscribe for two months minimum. And then if there's a kit that you don't really care for, you can skip as many months as you want. Um, so if you use that link, you get 10% off your first month. There are plenty of unboxings uh, on my channel if you wanna see what all is included in the full kit, or you can subscribe to just the sticker, sticker book portion of the kit, just the sticker kit. Um, and if you do use that link, uh, I also, just for full transparency, get um, a few loyalty points. Awesome. I love how it looks so far. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that I have all that on there, let's um, look for a couple of habit trackers. So I'm, I'm actually thinking these, these are from the journaling sticker book uh, that Happy Planner came out with some time ago. But I'm actually thinking these, I can fit three of these on the wine bottle. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these. They're pretty, um, oh, they don't quite fit. All right, my backup plan is the only sticker book I know of that Happy Planner ever came out with that had mini 
mini habit trackers was the one of the socialite books the mini socialite book and it's got these three little black ones they're a little bit bold the color the black color but I like that they're small enough to fit on the label so I'm just going to use the three of those none of the colors actually uh, other than the black really work so I'm going to miss these when I use them all up finally but look how cute that is totally fits on that wine bottle okay so there's my habit trackers now that I have the majority of my color scheme established I can go ahead and pick um, a couple of big boxes for here so I have the Mojo Jojo plans autumn boxes book because I thought maybe autumn I don't really like either of these browns they're not yellow enough the green could work, but I'm not sh convinced. These could work. I, another thing is I don't want to use the stripes because I want to put the boxes um, this way, I think, instead of this way. And so I don't want the striped ones. So I could, that's a little too red. I want something a little more burgundy wine. Here we go. So I could use these, that would work, one, two, um, or I have the, I just got the box set with the 10 different books. This is the brown book, so we can look in here. So that shade of brown is, a, is a, not quite yellow enough, too dark this brown this first brown might work so I just need to decide burgundy or brown I think I want to use I think I want to use the burgundy the wine colored ones so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna pull this one there's two different shades I don't know if you can tell on camera and one of each and so then I'll put opposite boxes on there for the action words so if I come down as low as I can with this box maybe to about here so that I've got this dark stripe covering up calls and emails no nope, I want to make sure okay so this is the dark one I want a light box like this to lay over top of it yeah that's too low so I'm gonna come up higher there we go, right on the line. And let's put this box then right over Aaron's. There we go. And then since this is the lighter box, we'll use a darker one of these. I'm gonna head and start go ahead and start it so I can get it in the right spot. And then I'm gonna slide this one underneath. Actually, let's go ahead and white out focus on first just so I don't see it through there. I love it. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I think, is use more of those washi dots over here so I have them on both sides. Excellent. So next thing I want to do is I think I want to take a couple of these boxes, cut, cut one edge off, and put them side to side here so that I can bring that look over to this side a little bit. And it doesn't matter, it looks like I've done that before. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me which color, the light or the dark that I use, to be honest. So um, right here are two dark ones right next to each other. I think I'll go ahead and do those. So I, got, I can kiss cut them on the page or I can just do that, which is just as easy. And then I think I'm done with this sticker book. And of course it does look like I cut that a little bit crooked. So that's the that's the risk you run with eyeballing it like that is cutting it a little bit crooked. But if you use a straight edge and you kiss cut it on the page, that isn't going to happen. All right, so I have my stickers here. So we'll go with I'm just going to put videos over here right on that crease. To help hide it and then over here we'll go 
with whatever I have the most of. So schedule and we'll go with ideas. So far so good. So that's pretty much everything functionally. Now we can decorate. So I did pull, I did pull a bunch of the kit to see I thought I might want to do like some little corks and things over there. I did pull the page that has the coffee cups. There we go. So I'm thinking burgundy. Although I do have burgundy right there. So maybe I'll go with the yellow one. Yeah. And then Let's see, some minis. Is there a mini drinking wine? Yep. And a mini, lots of minis drinking wine, eating cheese. Ooh. Okay, this one's eating cheese. I'm going to put her here. And here's one drinking wine. Let's put her here. Or should I put them together? I kind of feel like I want to put them together. I hardly ever use that line, but we'll just leave it for now. Um, I want, I pulled the happy hour book because I know it's got some really big, bold black quotes. And I was thinking I could put a black quote right over top of the scene and that would help um, tie those black, little black boxes in like these. Feeling bubbly. How about sip, sip, hooray? I like that. I don't really want colors. I like this big, heavy, dark black quote. Sip, sip, hooray. I think that's going to show up pretty nice just right over top of the scene. Perfect. I like that. Okay. Um, what else? How about the functional, like, planner minis? So... Peekaboo minis. They're cute. I could do somebody them peeking up off the bottom of this box or peeking out from the side. Let's do one of each. So let's do, because normally I would do some of these functionals, but I want to use the peekaboos. Let's go with this one peeking in from the side. Actually, that little extra bit of white bothers me. I'm going to cut it off. I know. It's minor. But I know myself well enough to know it's going to bother me. So I'm just going to cut that little bit of white off so I can put her right against the border of the box. Okay. And then let's do one peeking up. I just don't want the same one. Let's use the guy. I'm going to do the same thing. It is going to cut his little fingers off a little bit, but that's okay. I can try to go around them. There. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, Let's see if I can find something for right here. I feel like I have a little bit of dead space right there. Like, ooh, there's the picnic girls. Girls having a picnic. How about, how fun is that? I feel like that was made for that space. Let's put that there. Plus it's spring. The weather here has been nice. Picnic girls. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And then the last thing I thought I might do was consider putting a couple of these on here to help uh, soften this edge and maybe up here. I think it's going to be too much up there. But let's look at putting a couple of these holding down and softening. Oops. Rip softening that edge. So that one ripped, but what I can do is cut it off and just kind of use it as a tester. Got little bits of sticker everywhere. Okay, so if I were to put this kind of like here, how does that look? Minus the ripped off piece. No, I think it's too much. And now it's just like that, it's ripping the Happy Planner page. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ugh. Well, I think we need to leave it. I think it needs to be done. Although now I feel like I need something right there because I ripped the page. 
you probably can't even see it on camera though so we'll see we'll leave it and see if it bothers me so let's put it on the discs I think we're gonna call it done oops that's not where it goes it goes oh that's what I need to do okay so um, those of you that have watched my move-in videos before, I, ha I plan, I Franken plan in this, these two note pages to um, keep track of challenges on. So here's my monthly. I'll write in my videos. Here are my challenge tracker pages, and this just happy planner note pages. You can use whatever. But then I, I never know, I never Franken plan them in to start because I never know what I'm going to do. I could have used scrapbook paper there. Don't, don't know until I know. So um, now I know I need to turn from the habit, the challenge trackers to this first page of my first week spread. So I'm gonna go all the way around this page with some tape runner, even in between the punches. Either of these pages, because they get stuck together. Okay, and then we'll line this up around the punches. Another little bit of sticker. <laughs> And there we go. There is my wine and cheese spread. Even though this is kind of sort of like a work planner for me, it gives me something to look forward to when I get done with the day I can celebrate with some wine and cheese. So there we go. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to find a challenge that piques your interest or maybe that um, is a subject that you love and try doing a spread around it. Um, it's really fun. It gets you um, using stickers you maybe normally wouldn't use. Um, and also, um, it helps you get into using stickers from other sources. Um, so, uh, I love showing you new sources of stickers that are a little bit um, less commonplace. So, I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you!